It's been raining for a few hours straight. You can see the roads flooding out there. Usually this area gets a lot of water. I don't know how far down the road it goes, but... Makes people driving slow and not causing wakes up into people's yards. Well, we're supposed to have at least 12, 12 hours of rain. And I think we're about six hours from it hitting the uh, Sarasota area. And about 8 a.m. tomorrow, it'll be on the East Coast here. And we'll catch the North Swirl, which caused the storm surge, the waves, and the wind to be coming from the East here. So we are hunkered down. Got plenty of fuel for my generator. Got plenty of food in the fridge. It's about 7.45 at night. Winds are picking up. About 45 minutes an hour south of us in Titusville and Melbourne area, they've been having tornadoes. The band hasn't come up here yet, but it's probably about 30 miles south of us. Uh, the latest tornado on radar, but palm fronds are dropping. Probably about 40 mile an hour, 42 mile an hour winds they said right now, so. If you're on this side, beach side of the bridge or the river, you're here because they close the bridge whenever it's 40 mile an hour wind gust. So now the bridge closed to get off the, the beach side to go to the mainland, but little wind, little wind, trees are rocking, palm fronds down. All right, hopefully we can get through the night. But well, 7.30 the next morning, we still got about 50 mile an hour winds. All the rain, water on the road there. Never seen it come up this high. It's like a lake. Palm fronds everywhere, that bush is blown. Yeah, our neighbor, her little bush tree, she had a broken branch by over here. till 8 a.m. So we still got a little bit of time, but I'm uh it's almost all We're on the back of the hurricane. So in a little bit, oh there's a tree up there in that neighbor's house over there. The tree fell over. Damn. I'm gonna go through the neighborhood up to the beach here. of wind and saturation. The roots get so uh, saturated they can't hold ground and they're the shallow roots anyway. But the Halifax River is almost crested. I'm sure it will for days over. You see the docks underwater. During the coal it actually did overflow and it was coming into the, the road here. Look at this, we got a car in the ditch with one tire off the ground. I had to go over there and 
wasn't able to. We got a massive oak that's split right here, blocking the road. Wow. This is a kayak launch, a little parking spot. You launch a kayak with the water bubbling up from the drain. So much water. Back and the Halifax is about to crest over, but just actually bubbling up.